Another very useful function of a scientific calculator is the storage function. So you've got these nine red letters here, nine different storage functions, so each one can be assigned its own value. So if you want to see what's on A, make sure the calculator's on, alpha A equals zero. So zero is assigned to A, A times by nine, zero. Now this is very handy if you're working with equations with lots of variables and or if you're just too lazy to write anything down. So we can assign a new value to A by pressing the numbers, pressing the calculations, 23 times by nine, uh, and then we want to store it to A. A is now 69. And just to check that, A, which should be 69, divided by three, yeah, 23. Now here's the new bit that I learned today. You can press shift, recall, and you can see all the numbers stored against each of those.